Alrighty. Let's do the damn thing, gentlemen! Yup. Hey, Mel! Ha! Ah! Hey, before you get going here, we uh we got your last bit of mail before you go if you know if you get you know parole and all that. Thank you. There we go. We did have to screen it, which is why it's open, but That's there you go. Right. one little letter. I do what you gotta do. No, I got word that you might be getting out soon. God, I hope that's true. Things are pretty cushy here in my new facility. Lots of yard time, food ain't terrible. And the craftsmanship on some shivs here on what? Despite all that, I wish I could be there for your parole hearing and do it jointly like we planned. Bridging father and son released into freedom, bringing chaos into the world on the outside. Unfortunately, the universe had other plans. I hope this letter finds you well, and just know you were the coolest, nicest, craziest person dad a man could, prison dad a man could ask for. Good luck, Mel. Don't take shit from those stuffy shirt judges. Marty Holland. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Mail. Hey, how you doing? Uh, if you could do us a favor and turn around, put your hands up. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. My pleasure. I'm putting you down mm -hmm. and looking through your belongings. So absolutely. Oh, why did you get that Glock, sir? <laughs> That's a fucking question. What the hell? <laughs> I'm just going to take a picture of your belongings. Holy shit. Better, uh, just <laughs> huh. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> what he has? A Glock. Should I take a look at the Glock on his phone? Glock. Huh. Joey. You can have that. <laughs> Weird that they would just let me keep that in my drawer waiting for yeah, me when I got out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. How do you feel today, Mel Rickenbacker? Ecstatic, I suppose. You took over the prison. It is what it is. Yeah, with Molotovs and M4s. Holy shit! You ready, Jerry? Oh. There yeah, we go. tried to secede. We held the prison down for like four days. Oh wait, which part of prison was and seceded? Look what brought you. The whole thing. All of it? Yeah, yeah it's very DLC much. Yeah, wasn't good. even. DLC uh, wouldn't DLC even come on duty. PD, we all ready to roll out? That's why Tess is on my parole board. I held a rifle to the back of the warden's head and said if DLC she wasn't, I'd kill him. So he made yeah, it happen. 10-4. All right, 736 plus, uh... Well, away we go! Turn, turn to the right, down the wrong way, and this just pull in here. Uh -huh. We have our lights on. Pull, pull over to the side, because this is where we're bringing them in. Don't worry, I have my lights on, everybody. It's legal. Yeah, probably. No, it's all right. Yeah, yeah it's fine. It's fine. Hey, Mel. Hey, uh, I don't know. Corpo How's fascist going, cop robot number 12. I don't fucking know your name. How's prison been, you old fucking whippersnapper? Oh, not so bad. Hey, don't call him old. That's since, disrespectful. Uh, since y'all can't manage to arrest anybody yeah, anymore, I'm... nobody really comes up there, you know? Shut up, Mel. Yeah. Wow, Mel. All you do low. is sleep in your that's cot. Low, you Mel. Kurt, you, 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 you do your thing. Get him inside the cart route. One of you two. Kurt, Joe, one of you two. I got him. I don't think I've ever seen this. Well, judge, don't shoot me. I got Kyrie's. No, you oh, don't. Yeah. Okay. I like this. Does After this mean when I call DOC, there's actually going to be DOC responding? Hey, James. Oh, yeah. Hi, guys, James. Guys, this way. James, hey, James. Hey, James. Hey, James, back up. I'm going to hey, tase you in the fucking James, how about you hop in a Lambo so I can skull fuck you? No, I'm not going to let you do that. 
Okay. It's fine. He's cool with it. Come we have a good no, time. I was there. You ter your That's ghost sorry. terrified yeah, the hell out of him. Hey. Where, are we, where are we going through the front? Come over, come over, come here, come over here, here. Silent door. Door. Guys, come over here. Yep. Over here. Over here. Over here. James. James. You're about to get tased, James. James is stressing me out. Go ahead, James. 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 Find a Lambo. Hello. Hello, James. Hello. James. Hello. Oh, look, James. Look. Bright lights. Okay. Hey James, where's the beef? Oh. Bill! Hey, how are you? Hey, guys, how you doing? Bill! I look like <laughs> Bo you. Hi, you look good, Eugene. I'm you. What's Mel doing here? I like your new He's sense of style. Hey, dog, but what's going on? Who's this other guy? Yo, dog. I'm Mel. Oh, this is Jerry. He helped. Hi. Hi, Jerry. <laughs> oh, hey, Jerry. <laughs> I'm right. Jerry, Geriatrics. Are you I know. I'll I know. never let you hurt James Randall again. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What are the blocks? Oh, he's not a block. Uh, Why don't you just talk back to him? Hello. Looking sexy, oh, Sheriff. Thank you. How are you feeling? Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, Hi. Uh, my name is Smith. This name is we spoke a couple months ago. Oh, uh, hi. Unfortunately, uh, doing well now that I'm actually yeah. barred. Um, oh, hey, look at you. Yeah, so I do apologize about that. Hey. Uh, Mr. Braun will not be making it. Um, so if you would like, if you're okay with that, I'd like to enter as um, as your counsel for this. Absolutely. Board. I think uh, I think we'll be fine. I think so too. Uh, I don't see any issues outside that Tessa was retwatting that they wish she got the death penalty. But oh, yeah, very huh. true. Yeah, just well, yeah. you know, beggars can't, can't be you choosers. Know, <laughs> you know, yeah, because like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just a little joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I specifically requested Tessa be on the parole. Oh. Hey, James, if you come any closer, oh. I'll cave oh, your skull in. I, I have this Hello. on my bingo card. Hello. This is perfect. I'll make him run away. Nice pants. Um, please don't do that, Jerry. Okay. Okay. This is us trying to get you out of prison okay. legitly. Well, Let's not mess it up, okay? Violence. Stop hitting me. M Mr. President, no violence, sir. No, quit, quit. Okay, so, sorry, yes, sir. He's not the president, he's an idiot. Nah, he, he's, the, he's the president. I'm gonna pay Mel to kill you, James. That's a crime. No, it's not a crime. Do we have uh, all parties for both sides here? Hey, Mel. Hey. Mel. hey. I'm thanks for inside. Thanks for drawings. Thanks for visiting. Wait, no, thanks for being awake when I visit you. What the hell? You fucking bear. You can talk, you can talk, you can talk to the fucking guards. They wake me up. Don't fucking. Yeah, I do. You could have done more. sleeper. They thought you were dead every time. I'm the, I'm the one in fucking prison. You could have done more. How you doing? Was it really their prison? Who the fuck are you? Was it a prison on the outside without you? You ever think about that? Who the fuck are either of you? Who are these people? This is Mama. This is James Randall. I know James. I, I, I go fuck him. Not literally. No, figuratively. Before, don't you remember? <laughs> what? When? We've met before. Sure hey, hello. Hello. Do you want to, do you want to start hello. Eugene, I like your sense. I like your new style. You look. Uh, you do something you. different with your hair. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, yes, I, 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 I combed it on oh. to the left side instead of the right today. Yeah, it's good. Oh. It's mm -hmm. good. Fuck you, James. You James James is Fuck you. Yes. He's, uh, James is improving. Quite the audience milk. today. Oh, what the hell? Jesus Christ. So was oh. Valdo. Oh. What happened, Jerry? Who's that, Valdo? Who's that, do I know you? You call on my show, my radio uh, show. Who knows big oh, that's you? Yeah, it's me. Huh. Holy so shit. I've never seen you. I also called Holy you shit. once in Spanish and, and ended oh, up the phone I'm call sorry. in English. And, and, and uh, I think you liked it. Jesus Christ, I remember that. Oh my God, yes. Hey, hey, James, maybe we just don't talk. I'm so confused. Woo! Woo! Would you like a milkshake? Man, no. up here. Back. Oh, okay. Because I can't hear you. Who because are you? Of everyone else yelling. <laughs> oh, I'm Mama. Mama. We've met before. I mean, refresh my memory. My oh, I gave you a ride. You told me that I, I can Watch hire you to kill anybody of my choosing free of charge. Yeah, that sounds like me. Yeah. Well, they were talking. It's nice to see you again. Yeah. I'm glad you're healthy. Yeah, you cool. Cool. Like cool. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Fuck you, Jane. Well, don't step in front of her. You look, you look good, brother. Nice. 
You look real good, man. You all right? In the chair or something. Yeah, he's a block now. Yeah, I'm a block now, dog. Hey, man. Like you're up here. Hi, mom. What's all over I'm you? on TV. Oh, it's yeah. Again. Oh, I got bear pox. Oh, oh I'm man. Infected. Oh, all right. Get That's right. Okay. Oh, hey, man. All right, yep. Just come have a seat. Where you been? Oh, pretty. I was just saying hi. Oh. I killed a park I've been ranger. Calling... Well, this is not real. Really so long ago, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Can they just get over it? And they uh, someone told me they replaced yeah, them with like 36 here. different new rangers. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the fucking different? What's the deal? What's the difference? I don't know. Who cares? Oh, Who cares? Oh, oh, hi, Mr. Bundy. Oh, have I told you? Have I told you that I have no plan going into this? Like, I have nothing. Nothing to be whatsoever. Oh, like, no, 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 I'm just gonna wing it. Let you go, surely. Okay. I'm just fucking. I'm just gonna fucking wing it. He'll be all right. Well, I want to try to do that. James, James, do that again. He took my stuff. Stop. It's funny. I get it. James, James, James. All right. You guys, you guys done back there yelling and fist fighting? I'll fist mail. Noted. No, yeah, that's fine. I'm cool with that. James, I told you if you came any closer, I would bounce your head off of this fucking desk until you stopped making sense. Well, I'm gay. Sir Randall, oh, never Mr. mind then. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Mr. Randall, why are you on this side of the bar? <laughs> uh, you need to go to the other side of the bar, please, are you sir. Hey, Carl. Hey, bye bye. Nope, over there. Go for that, that comment Is Melon no James kid. around huh? at the same time? Yes. Yeah, two it. different people. Why wouldn't they? Two different people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna hide at the back and drink uh, beer, bro. And, uh, oh, old people look alike, this... Carter. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go ahead and begin I'm this listen parole to this. hearing. All right, everybody. Just get to hide. <laughs> a judge or someone go back there you got to establish dominance that you're allowed in the bullpen. Oh, hit him with the clipboard or something, or tell us so we can give him. You got to establish dominance. Now they know I'm not leaving. Now I've got free roam, like bro. This is this is the joys of playing this character. Like I can do whatever the fuck I want. Just make sure that you know you're not talking at a level that's going to interrupt, you know, uh, myself, any of the other judges, any of the other individuals on the panel, or interfere with the prosecution or defense because they also need to be able to hear and pay attention. Uh, if you do want to have conversations, I definitely recommend going up to the top portion uh, where you can still watch, but you know your conversations aren't going to interrupt anybody else. Uh, with that, if there is conversation that does interrupt people uh, and we have to stop to tell, you know, the peanut gallery to hush up, um, I will be issued out contempt. Just want to make that very clear. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start with a statement of claim for why we are here today. And I will go over, uh, you know, the order in which you do things because it's a little bit different than your standard trial. All right. Statement of claim. Pursuant to the People v. Mel Rickenbacker et al., uh, the defendant, Mr. Rickenbacker, and defendant geriatrics, because these are two merged parole hearings, is now eligible to be heard on parole consideration. Defendant has requested that Tessa Lamb represent the park rangers on his parole board. Uh, during the People v. Mel Rickenbacker, we begin. Uh, Mel was found guilty of three times attempted murder of a government employee, one times... Uh, yeah, one time attempted murder of a government employee as well as one time criminal possession of a firearm. Hold on, I don't think these charges are correct. There was a murder charge on there. I mean, accomplice? I swear to God, there was. Oh, sorry. Three times accomplice to attempted murder of a government employee, one time accomplice to murder of a government employee. Apologies, I read that incorrectly. Give me two seconds. Wait, who's, who's char whose Jerry charges were those? Charges. Those were yours, sir. Oh, no, I, d I, I was not an accomplice. Yeah, I, d I did that. Oh. Thank you. Marked it off my bingo for me. Okay. Uh, we also have a Mr. Geriatric here who is also Hi. eligible for parole. Yes, that's you. The with the cornrows back there. Sorry, the um the dreads. Uh, we have three times accomplice attempted murder of government employee, one times accomplice to murder of government employee, and one times criminal use of a firearm. All right, both these two gentlemen are up for parole. This means that they've been serving several years in prison, uh, and we are here today to uh, determine if they should be released from their stay in Bowling Broke. How this is, is going to go is we're going to go ahead and hear from the prosecution. They're going to go ahead, present their case, 
um, you know, bring forth any witnesses, um, you know, anyone affected by the crimes, officers involved, that sort of thing. We're going to hear their testimony, and then we're going to go ahead and hear the same from the defense. We're going to hear why he should be eligible for parole and any conditions that should go along with it. Have any questions before we begin? Uh, yeah, just, just, it. just for simplicity, Your Honor, is this kind of like a sentencing hearing then? But yeah, basically. Uh, I, I wasn't sure. Yep. And it's basically the same thing. Uh, instead of determining what kind of sentence someone gets, we're determining, you know, they've already received their sentence. Uh, we're just determining if they should, con you know, continue that sentence or if they should be released. And if they are released, on what terms? Does that make sense? Pretty simple stuff. Okay. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Before we go ahead, do we have any motions that need to be made? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Defense would like to motion uh, for appearance for Samantha Sanders' counsel for Mel Rickenbacker. <clears throat> okay. Do we um do we have anything from the prosecution? Any comments? Any counter motions on that? Ooh, I wasn't going to say anything until you opened it up to comments. Uh, no objection, Your Honor. That makes it easier for us. Okay. Perf. All right. Motion granted. Yeah, All right. Let's get started. Let's go ahead here from the prosecution. It's not just a murder charge, it's a cop murder. I think that's only uh, happened crack the bottle one other time. For the prosecution, Your Honor, uh, before opening the floor to everybody. Else. I don't know. Actually, I don't know if it's happened at all outside of calls. Hi, Mr. Bundy. Uh, hi, Jerry. It's good. Good to see you again. I had a fun ride from the apartments. I'm, I'm, I'm glad, buddy. Uh, thank oh, you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Parole board members, uh, people of the court. Um, on August 22nd, 2022, uh, Mel Ray and my birthday. Bacher and uh, Jerry Atrix were sentenced to life imprisonment with the possibility of parole. Uh, Mel's situation, if I'm not mistaken, was after 50 years and Jerry's was after 30. Uh, the people do recognize that it has been 232 <laughs> Uh, since this court issued that sentence. And although the people will be requesting this court to enforce its option to decline the parole of both of these individuals, I do realize that's a tall order. Uh, however, I would like to paraphrase, word, paraphrase words that have been said by boards and judges or justices making decisions similar to, if not identical to those we request that you make tonight. Mel, uh, Mel Rickenbacker, nor geriatrics' victims, will ever get parole from them. <laughs> uh, I want to let that sink in. Wesley Arnold will never get parole from his attackers. He will never leave his watch in Radden Canyon. His colleagues in the SDSO, the San Andreas State Park Rangers, and every other officer that he had the privilege of interacting with will never hear another story about the Bible camp. They'll never hear him utter the phrase praise be uh, whether it be in moments that we really needed it or after small victories as a celebration the defendants uh, Rickenbacker and Atrix they asked the court today for parole from the yard of Bolingbroke State Penitentiary a yard with a garden an open sky a BMX skate park <laughs> DOC lifers yard time a stage for plays and performances and uh, you know the routine let's say thrice weekly riots that occur while wesley arnold will never receive parole from having left this world and those he affected's hearts and minds will never receive parole from their feelings of loss and heartache there has been and we doubt that there will be in any statements made tonight any statement of remorse from mr atrix or mr rickenbacker uh, just prior to this proceeding beginning mr rickenbacker uh, exclaimed i did that shit whoa 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 there's been no rehabilitation of these individuals <laughs> whatsoever. Uh, in fact, during my last recourse with Mr. Atrix, he indicated to me that the things he had learned since he was confined within Bolingbrook was how to shank individuals, which, where to hide things from the Department of Corrections, how to obtain phones, and how to start riots. Uh, a member of DOC who, he forgot uh, the I was, uh, who I was speaking with <laughs> shortly before coming Jerry. up here, uh, indicated to me that uh, Atrix uh, told him uh, or, or either earlier this evening or earlier this week, you'll have to clarify, that uh, should Mr. Atrix be released, that uh, that DOC member would be murdered. <laughs> Simply speaking, Your Honor, members of this 
parole board, there has been no rehabilitation or reformation of these two gentlemen. Further, we would point out to this court and to this parole board that Mr. Rickenbacker has already had his second bite of the apple. Almost one year to the date prior to this conviction, he was convicted for another homicide that he was facing the death penalty for. Oh, yeah. Two bodies? The state has already made the mistake of giving him parole. And it led to the death of my friend and this state's ranger, Wesley Arnold. Accordingly, uh, the state is going to be requesting that the parole for these two individuals be denied wholesale. Uh, In the alternative, and only in the alternative, uh, we request the strictest of parole conditions that this court could impo- uh, impose. Hefty financial pe- penalties for violations, required ankle monitors and or tracking activated by their phones or banks, required reporting with the Unified Police Department, a return to jail on the commencement of so much as the smallest of misdemeanor actions. Uh, I'm not going to list every possibility out, uh, but we request that if this board decides to go against all common sense and better judgment and grant these individuals Whoa, Bundy's fighting it. to Jesus. every restriction upon their person that the constitution of this state would allow you to. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, uh, parole board. Uh, and praise be. Uh, at this time, I'd ask the court to allow a chance for uh, victim impact statements from individuals who may be in the gallery who wish to make them. <clears throat> <clears throat> whoa yeah go cops yeah whoa. <laughs> he told Shut me in the, the car he off. was gonna talk on my behalf i think he lied uh certainly sounds that way but hang in there jerry we'll we'll, we'll have our turn <laughs> i didn't eventually. even see james so um clocked on for my shift today and immediately was hissed at by uh I, geriatrics hello? i didn't call you hey, up here oh. <laughs> and scott Balderman. Yeah, Get see. back there. Well, Bundy told me to come up here. What? I told you to come up here. What the fuck is that? No, no. Boo, DOC, you stink. Who is that oh. back there making comments? James Randall, the <laughs> fake security <laughs> guard. Very real. Yeah, you guys want to handle that one? What are you guys doing? Did you dump that thing? <laughs> <Or> <laughs> What are they called? Pyres? What are they called? Uh, the bailiffs, yeah, the bailiffs. Found James. Oh, Pyres, that's where they set people on fire, Jerry. He's doing a really good job. He's doing a lot better the last last couple weeks, I think. Uh, you're on, I'm not going to press panel. anybody, but I would request that they uh, uh, Lang Buddha. Oh, I'm I'm dual. oh, I am never getting out of prison. Has indicated <laughs> uh, no, well, no, as far as Mr. Ron did, he called him as a witness. Do you want to recuse him as a witness so we're not... Uh, not anymore, sir. You've been away for a long time. I doubt Lang has any time to give a shit about me, but if he does, I'm fucked. Okay, we'll recuse him then. That way, everything's good. Let's wing it. Let's wing it. You sure? Yeah, we'll right, Your Honor. Who wishes to speak okay, on don't... behalf of the prosecution? Go ahead and approach Bundy, um, and make sure you stand in line. Oh, well, <laughs> it was about thirty minutes ago before we arrived here. I can't believe this I, guy uh, just walked up. Walking, uh, he doesn't have Jerry to be. Immediately hissed it's at a me wit- witness said, impact statement. Once he gets out of jail, he's gonna kill me. Oh. Did you say that, Jerry? No. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, that's, that, that's all. Okay. I'm going back to the ranger. He's just mad because I ratted him out for selling phones and knives. I did okay. not understand a thing he said. I'm going to be honest. I think we all had trouble understanding what just transpired. Strike him from the record. I thought he was doing a Tiny Tim impression. I don't think I've heard a warble like that since the eighth <laughs> grade. <laughs> uh, you're... Uh... Your Listen, Honor, the uh, the I, Supreme I Overlord it, of the Los Santos Home Security Division, Lando, uh, has indicated uh, wish to make a statement on behalf of the people. I still don't know what the last guy says, though, so I can't really take that under advisement. He's not a cop. <sighs> this, okay, come on up. Hey, how's it going? It's Lando. <laughs> um, I didn't know Wesley at all, <laughs> but. He wanted me to tell you guys. Uh that he loved you all. Uh, 
That is all. Those are his dying wishes. Oh. <laughs> good job. Good night. Good job. Good nice work. Dying declaration. Yeah. <laughs> Bundy, do we have anyone else who wants to come up here. on behalf of the state? Is that Mark Block or the other uh, Your Honor, uh, Eternal Mayor uh, Mickey Yes would like to make a statement on behalf. Are of you fucking state. kidding me? Absolutely. Or is yours, former? Let's go, Mayor Mickey. Mickey yes. <laughs> what does the S stand for? Me, but no one else would. The S stands for Sinclair. That's right. Uh, I am oh, Mickey Sinclair. Mouse. Wow. Wait, oh, Sinclair. I'm sorry. See the mouse on TV? And I am here to speak. For an old friend of mine. <laughs> Don't say the old word. No, no, no. Like he's an old friend, as in like Stop he's in. like. No, no, no. Like old and like the Stop like in. the other. Not as an adjective for him, but as an I'm adjective with, for the I'm length of time we've been Stop friends. The word. Oh my god! I thought that, I thought the mayor said I could. What do you say? I'm sorry. <laughs> James. What's wrong with the? Good what? What's wrong with old? What? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's Mickey. Yes. Are you speaking on behalf of Mel? No. Am I? Are you up here for the prosecution? Or are you for the defense? I am for the defense. For Mel Rickenbacker, that's right. Then kindly oh, step yeah. down. Yeah. 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 We'll give you wait. the chance to speak on this. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, wait, is this for the is this for the prosecution? Oh, oh, Bunny, I'm yeah, wait, sorry. I'm right here now. for the prosecution <laughs> and uh, later for the defense. <laughs> Tell me when the defense okay. Is He's playing both sides, side. so he always comes up on top, you're yeah. on. Exactly. Uh, that's what a true just politician like does. Politician. Exactly. Now, for the prosecution. Don't me. <laughs> this was an officer of the law trying to uphold the dignity and sanctity of the laws of this city, a city that I hold dearly and love dearly. These laws must be abided. We cannot have these people terrorizing, murdering our officers without first asking me if it's okay and if I like that oh. officer or not. Oh. Mel Rickenbacker did not ask me if I liked this officer. What was the officer's name again, buddy? <laughs> uh, Wesley Arnold. I don't know a Wesley Arnold. And because of Mel Rickenbacker, I never will. <laughs> <laughs> He's going... well, you wouldn't have liked him, Mickey. You wouldn't have liked him. Oh, sorry, it former mayor. Me a lot of Lisa. Sinclair. I don't know where he was going, but he did hit me in the heart with that last one. There's a lot of people who'll never know him now. Yeah. Not yeah. Sad. All right. Who's next? Uh, Your Honor, uh, Deputy Chief of the EMS Kiki Pendragon would like to make a statement on behalf of the state. All right. Hello, Your Honor. Panel. So I do not know Mel or Jerry on a personal basis, but I know they're victims. And I have been keeping a very close eye on their victims for a while. <laughs> One of them I met the day after he attacked them. And I saw what his attack did to them. And I've seen the trauma that he has put this person through and it has... I watched him destroy a strong person. I watched him make them cry and I had never seen that from them before. I've seen what he has done to my medics who had to treat the person that he killed. It still lingers with them. They loved Wesley as much as everyone else did. He's someone that people still talk about. They still say praise be. They still talk about him. They still visit the tower in Josiah. 
They still go over there. They still offer tribute. This man has done this twice now. The first time he did it, while it was someone random, it was still a person. And he clearly showed no remorse about it. He still talks proudly about it. He made a song about it. And he said he'd do it again. And he did. Almost exactly a year later. And even coming in here, he didn't regret it. He's shown absolutely no remorse for what he's done. In fact, I worry that if he gets out, he's just going to do it again. Mm -hmm. And he's going to do exactly what he did again last time. Yeah, you're next. Where he plays <laughs> nicely oh. while on parole and does what he's supposed to do and does good things oh, good. and then gets released from parole and attacks someone. I stabbed Tesso within an hour of getting off of parole. There's no guarantee that he'll do that, but there's no guarantee that he won't. This man is a monster. Might have been like Ooh. minutes later. He doesn't care about people's lives. And someone like that out on the streets? You want someone like that out on the streets? We already have too many of them. Some of them are here. Hey. <laughs> hello. <laughs> They're saying hello. They don't care. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. You want to put one going? more person like that out in the streets Where when instead went, you could keep them somewhere else away from the general populace? Maybe if he showed even an ounce of remorse or rehabilitation, but he hasn't yet. That's all. Thank you. Uh, Your Honor, the state has only two more at this time that have spoken up. Uh, uh, Senior Park Ranger Louise Campbell uh, would like to make a statement. Hello, Your Honours, people of this court. <clears throat> Today, there has been one thing that many people have failed to mention, and that is what we do for our jobs, the park ranger. <clears throat> one thing I can tell you about Wesley is he cared so much about the animals of this state, to the point that he took under his wing a grizzly bear that people was willing to shoot at, that was willing to kill and tranquilize while it roamed around the city. Yes, it did <coughs> try to attack people, but Wesley was the only person to sit and defend that animal. And that bear came round to Wesley, and Wesley gave it a home. Now, after Wesley was murdered, not many people got to see what happened to that bear, but I was one of those people that saw it. That bear came out of its home that Wesley had made, and was so lost James. that it could smell James. Wesley and James. went to Wesley's grave. Tried to dig Help! Up the person that it loved hey, the gone? most. Help! What, what happened? That bear. Help 83, if you want to grab that, feel free. Because it had lost its owner. And that's the last Wesley thing I remember, I was playing with my pussy. What? 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 Why? Out? Why were you playing with your pussy? I will. Right. I'm ready. Well, feel good. I'm ready. Feel great. Yeah, you ready? I will. All right, back out up there. You know God's work. So I have to say. Okay, I'll go first. I'm in cuffs. You're not in cuffs. Uh, you're, you're good. Officer I died. Okay, yeah, you did lie, but it's fine. It's fine. Get on out there. Come on. You got this chance. <clears throat> Your honors, uh, prior to being a police officer, I was a uh, member of the EMS, and I was the primary emergency medical personnel on the scene of Wesley's death. What I could tell you is that the scene laid before us the... Horrors in the aftermath of what transpired in that parking lot were not for the eyes of the innocent. What transpired there personally changed how I view the burger shot. A place of business turned into a place of horror. And afterwards, the response from all departments of the Unified Police Department itself showed me who Wesley was to everyone. And the amount of officers and citizens who woke up from their deep slumbers just to say their final goodbyes in that morgue truly showed me that he was loved. 
Wesley Arnold was a pillar to a lot of people, and unfortunately, no more people are going to be able to meet him and find out how truly wonderful of a person he was. And it's for those reasons that I ask you today, please keep this man locked up so that nobody gets to meet the horrors that Mel Rickenbacker wreaks upon this state. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Your Honor, at this time, no further individuals have approached requesting to make a statement on behalf of the state, so um, uh, we cede to the other side. All right. At this time, um, we're going to open it up for the defense. Um, if there are any individuals who um, are approved, obviously, by the defense attorney team um, who want to speak on behalf of the defense, this includes attorneys, um, the defendants themselves. Yes, hello. Yes, um, hello. Any... Get up there, James. It also Get up includes there. James Prudy. Randall. Uh, and then after the defense, we'll open up the floor for everyone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mr. Randall, you may begin. When you pee, do you feel it hurting every everywhere it's supposed to hurt when you pee? It's like waiting for, you know, scary to come Say what? Oh, God. Sir? Are you starting off with kidney stones? Are you I don't okay? know why he's starting off with kidney stones. James, but... I think you can get rid of that if you clap it between two two by fours. No! <laughs> clap what? Uh, you know. No, what? Clap what? Well, that's why they call it the clap. You're... Eh, never mind. I'm also the Clinton. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, do we have any? I can go. Members of the. Okay. Watch out, buddy! Don't go making me come now. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh my god! Oh. Hello. All right. Uh, is it? Uh, hello, is this on? Hello? Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Is it, is it, is it, is it, please stop. Is it, stop. is it on? Hello. Yes. All right. Hey, uh, my name is Eugene Zuckerberg, business owner and proprietor of Facial Books or Snapchat or Spacegram, and inventor of the Frisbee. Melbourne, Melbourne is my long-term friend. He has been a man by my side for my entire life. Since, uh, since the day I crucified Jesus on the rock and... We decided to push him out the next day out of the cave as we felt kind of bad for it, you know. Felt a little bit bad for leaving him in there all alone without a, a friend or a soul or a frisbee. And we became friends with Jesus. And he taught us all about life and how to live a good and honest and evil and manipulative balance, you see. As there is chaotic neutralism within all of us. We have before us murderers, killers, deceitful individuals, cheaters, liars, betrayers everything and they all belong on this side of the room and this side there's people over here that have killed innocent individuals kyle Prater, ex-sheriff murdered so many people ocean dumped them destroyed them killed them and you know what every single person in cerberus backed him they got on his side and defended him from his murders and his deceit and betrayal that he did to this fine city and they sit there pretending like they are innocent they are clean individuals that have never done anything wrong they are disgusting, vile creatures that wish to banish Mel to the Shadow Realm, while they should themselves should be kept in that realm of deceit and anger and betrayal. Mel is a man that has just done merely what his impulses have desired. He has lived by the coin. He flipped that coin, and that coin land on freedom. Free Melbert! Oh! oh. I'll, um, I touching you, can speak for the defense. Uh, I'm I'll, Thank I'll, you so I'll go much up when we that. run out of people Guys, to speak for the defense. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it was perfect. Okay. All right. And we have Mickey oh. Sinclair up here once again speaking on behalf of the defense. Brugging. Hello. I speak to you now no longer as the mayor, eternal mayor, speaking on behalf of the prosecution. I now speak to you as a friend of the city hey Aww. hold on everyone hey what's up hi <laughs> hey hello <laughs> about this time I'd pull out a chair turn it around sit on cool. it backwards you know can't <laughs> answer style he's got me convinced he's so, he's so father figure but cool <laughs> yeah speaking of the mic I'm kind of a cool guy. 
normally i would say fucking kill mel yeah i'd actually say put him to the death penalty normally but my life changed i talked to lisa today now many of you don't know who lisa is she taught me something. We need to listen more and speak less. I want to hear what Mel has to say. I want to listen to him. I don't want him shut away where I can't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see him out and about, interacting with the people, the kids. There aren't any kids in this city. That's kind of weird. Have we ever thought about that? Where are the kids? <clears throat> No, no, Surge Cross um, put something to sterilize us in the water supply years ago because the city is no place for children. I've actually yeah, shot two. I've, I've, I've shot two children or preteens. Do, do those count? Uh, yeah, I don't counts. know. I don't know. I don't even know where okay, I'm going okay. with this. All I know is this Mel is my friend. <laughs> and I want to see him out again. <laughs> Crazy, huh? <laughs> 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 That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Mickey. Very I think nice. we've learned a lot here today, guys. Let's go. I think we've learned a lot here today. You've made me learn a lot there. I don't know what the hell I've learned. The only thing he was Hey, uh, Bryce Miller, son, adopted son of Mel Rickenbacker. It's cool. I'll wait. I'm sorry. Until the peanut gallery is done. Sorry. We're not the peanut gallery. How oh, dare you? Take off your glasses right now. Rude. We're not Corey Hart. For sure. I don't know Thanks. who that is, but he sounds lame as hell. Corey Hart. Wow, hell? you were literally just pulling an inspired uh, look by him. So that's that's surprising for you to call him lame. But go ahead and continue. All right. I just uh, had to. <laughs> Bryce Miller, adopted son of Mel Rickenbacker. And I just wanted to say a couple words from Akon's Locked Up. Because visitation no longer comes by. Comes by. Seems like they forgot about me. About me. <laughs> Commissary is getting empty. Empty. My cellmate's eating food without me. Without me. Can't wait to get out and move forward with my life. Move on with my life. Got a family that loves me and wants me to do right. But instead, I'm here locked up. They won't let me out. I'm locked up. They won't let me out. No. I'm locked up. Mel Rickenbacker. Well, yes, he did a horrible thing. And some might say an unforgivable thing. He's been locked up. And they won't let him out. And so I'm asking you to not be them. And let him out. <laughs> oh. What the hell is Akon? <clears throat> Oh, another, another one. Hi. Uh, I don't know Mel Rickenbacker at all. Uh, but all I have to say is I stand before you as a convicted murderer. <laughs> and I can tell you that once you go through that once, you only have another time to do it. You never get past the two time back to back murderer. There's no such thing as the three time. You don't go further than the two time. Everybody knows that. So look at me. Look at what I've become. You heard today in this courtroom that I, Lando, have become the supreme overlord of Homeland Security. Who's to say that once you've reached the two time of Mel, how many fingers is that? <laughs> you can't Just do something new with your life. Murders. Something great for the city. <laughs> Get Mel such a villain. I shot down a Russian spy plane yesterday. Oh, yeah. I'm a national hero. That could be Mel. Because he's not going to be the three-peat. Nobody goes past the two-time. That's all. What the hell? Can I... Can I say something before I officially go up there? I feel that like that's the least we could do. Yes. James Randall 
has killed more people in this city than anyone ever. Would anyone care Ooh. to take a guess? He's oh. killed five of my kids. He has killed 13 people. <laughs> Has he really? He no, like he's actually killed 13 people. It's on his record. <laughs> Came to visit me all How the time and would talk about it. Killings press, anyway. He <laughs> says it's self-defense. As a I think... veteran, I would like you all to thank him for. <laughs> I, 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 I believe six or seven of those were all in one go, Your Honor. The uh, second-degree murder sort of situation. I'm not sure. Yeah, he shot yeah. up a we gun have deal. Information from Jesus also, Christ to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Humberto Pecorino killed 18 Dans in one one uh, hit and run. Holy shit! Jesus Christ. Wait, I was there for that. <laughs> okay. more than 18 Daniel, Dan's do you want to go or do you want me to go? I'm I'm Sorry, gonna go for. There's not really much I can do about that, but I guess we'll keep it in mind. <laughs> That's a good fucking selling point. I can do what I want, sir. I gotta wonder how many of those were actually hemorrhoid dance and not real dance. No, they were real. Wait, what are hemorrhoid dance? Can you explain that to me? Oh, yeah, they don't count as real people. They're just hemorrhoids uh, branched off of single dance. Wait, so he like reproduces by budding? Yeah. Ew! Yeah, so, uh, we don't typically, you know, do anything about this once. I mean, I guess that's fair. Hmm. That's pretty disgusting. Ooh, ooh, anyway. Yeah. All right, defense. Uh, do you do you have anyone else you would like come to come up and speak, uh, including the defendants, if they so choose? I don't think Aziz's ever met him. Is he? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, hello. Um, hello, hi, James. Uh, I only met this man uh once or twice, but the the one time I met him, uh, you know. He he was driving around in a um, Lamborghini, and then immediately after, a box truck full of people pulled <laughs> up and they jumped out and oh, shot shit. me down and all I my friends. That. But holy fuck! The point I'm trying to make is that afterwards he says sorry to me, <laughs> and that oh, shows remorse. Oh. <laughs> I forgive you. I had nothing to do with that. That was one of the wildest coincidences I've ever witnessed with my own two eyes. But he said <laughs> sorry, so that, that shows the uh, remorse. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Hurry, Sam, go. Oh, never mind. <laughs> nope, Jay, later. Let us go first, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, the pro board, we today... Uh, are gathered here to consider the case of Mel Rickenbacker. When Mr. Rickenbacker has been convicted of a heinous crime, we urge you to consider uh, his progress and rehabilitation while serving his sentence. It is our belief that he has taken responsibilities for his actions and demonstrated genuine remorse for the harm he has caused to the victim's family and society as a whole. In this capacity, it is of the opinion of the defense that Mr. Rickenbacker is given this one last chance to prove his rehabilitation. And oh, I, God. And oh, I oh, do it again. coming out of her mouth. Everybody got smitten. Oh, my God. James is scared. Game. And that was something else with all their things falling to the floor. That really, really drove that home. Jesus God. We're going to go ahead and put this in a brief recess. We'll wait for uh, Judge Fitzpatrick and Samantha Sanders to come back from whatever realm they have been sentenced don't to. worry i have a thanos gauntlet oh cool i've never seen a DC movie. No violence. we are now back into session please continue uh in this capacity it is the opinion of defense that mr rickenbacker is given this one last chance to prove his rehabilitation has come through fruition and step back into society and with and to into his family Mr. Rickenbacker has used this time in prison to better himself by completing various educational and vocational programs, participating in ther therapy-like sessions and discussions, working towards becoming a model prisoner. He has shown consistently uh, an attempt to make amends for his past actions, at least within Bolingbroke. Everyone knows exactly how hard Bolingbroke is. As Ranger Bundy even mentioned, there are typically thrice weekly riots, assaults, attempted murders by the Dunson. In this purported violence, however, the prosecution has failed to bring any evidence, notes, testimonies, or any levels of proof that Mr. Rickenbacker has produced or proceeded to join any of the riots or violence that has plagued our prison. 
And in good faith and preparation for his third attempt at a free life, Mr. Rickenbacker has made step by step for proof at his attempted rehabilitation. It is also worth noting that Mr. Rickenbacker has already served well beyond his original po uh, poignant portion of his sentence uh, for uh, his request for parole and has had no disciplinary actions or proven disciplinary actions for his incarceration. Having his parole confirmed will alleviate the stress and staffing financial burden that a member of society like Mr. Rickenbacker, Rickenbacker puts on our criminal justice system. Moreover, granting parole to Mr. Rickenbacker will, all, will not only give him a third and possibly final chance at life, but also demonstrate that the justice system recognizes and values rehabilitation. We believe that he has served a sufficient a time in prison and has shown the necessary qualities to be reintegrated in society. It is only the few and far between that within San Andreas that our justice system has denied any levels of parole for the depths of crimes. If you honestly truly believe that Mr. Rickenbacker has committed the same level of crimes as Kenneth Jesperson and deserves the same level of denial for parole that Mr. Jesperson receives countless times, then our justice system truly is disruptive to the lives of the people attempting to make amends and take steps to live their life. No, the lives of uh, the lives of the people Mr. Rickenbacker took, and in his words, "I did that shit," can be brought back to life. What we can do is do what we can and push towards what is good and just for the amends of the family and lives of the people with the great state of San Andreas. In Ranger Bundy's own words, "I actually shot two kids while he's a good ranger and a peace officer." If Mr. R if Mr. Bundy is allowed to hurt more innocent people than Mr. Rickenbacker's victims then how is Mr. Rickenbacker to be denied in his attempts to prove that his actions can excel beyond what we consider such a prestigious position? Therefore, we respectfully ask the parole board that you consider Mr. Rickenbacker's progress and grant him parole so that he may continue his journey towards redemption and contribute positively to society. Thank you. Damn, that kid bit hit hard, yo. Your Honor, I'm sorry. I was peeing on the bush. Do I got to elaborate on when I shot them kids? Because they deserved it. What the fuck? Yeah, fuck what the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and then what else we do? Wrong gang, we kill kids. Guys, was there any I'm sorry, what? Eugene? Doing any kind we kill kids of information now. Or anything on the oh boy. <laughs> That's why you don't see anything. I haven't seen anything submitted. Me and, me and James Rand don't normally get rid of them. Oh my god. An extermination oh. thing, you know? Okay. Mm -hmm. we, just, we just must have guessed them. <laughs> or like, you know, we just <laughs> cut off their heads. I'm on the pike, you know. Can I help? Sure. You want to join okay. the gang? <laughs> Hello? Uh, yes, I was waiting for uh, for the justices to uh, finish their discussion up there. The uh, parole go board. Ahead. Oh, he, uh, he's go ahead. He's taking this over. I, I kind of want to watch him sweat a bit. So. Oh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, your honors, uh, representatives of the mayor's office, ladies and gentlemen in the courtroom. Um uh, Mr. Jerry Atrix has uh, been serving beyond the t beyond 200 years in Bolingbrook for his crimes. Uh, Mr. Atrix was eligible for parole at uh, at 45 years and uh, did not feel that he was ready yet, so he he waited and he continued to serve his time uh, until you know he felt that he was ready to rejoin society and uh, reached out to me to. Uh, ask for this hearing. Uh, Mr. Atrix is always looking to better himself. He uh, originally met Mr. Rickenbacker when he was looking for a life coach in order to uh, improve his life, improve his standing in the city. And while he, uh, he may have been misled in this incident, he does understand the severity of what he's done and he looks forward to re-entering society to prove that he has learned from his mistakes and is uh, interested in proving that to the justices, to the Unified Police Department, and most importantly, to himself. Thank you. Is there anyone else wishing to speak? Beautiful. Go ahead, Please Jerry. come forward. Go up there again and be like, hell. Don't confess to anything, okay? <laughs> Uh, hello, people. I'm Jerry. Geriatrics. How are you? I think I'll call it when I get up there. Hey, hello, Jerry. It's oh. doing quite well. Uh, Hi. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Mr. Bundy's a liar. <laughs> he only wants you to think about the bad times. You know, 
He, he didn't tell you how when I found my way out of prison, the first thing I did was I called the police. And he came and picked me up at the apartment. Not once did he tell you how he was going to speak on my behalf and how we had fun singing songs all the way up to prison and, and getting to know each other. He also said he would come visit me in prison to see how I was doing and if I was doing better or not. And he never did. That's not where the system has failed the most, though. He thinks that prison has stages and gardens and, and, and BMX tracks, and you're just allowed to use that whenever you want. Gary. Sorry. Okay. Hi. Yeah? <laughs> I got beaten today because <laughs> I had a watering can. <laughs> a watering can me. that I used to get, you know, vegetables and stuff in the garden, and it was oh. taken away because that was I was told that's contraband. <gasps> and then, and then, the red hair guy wouldn't sell me a phone anymore because I had my meeting today. I hiss at him, so he hit me over the head that? multiple times with a big stick. Oh. Fuck twelve. He used to be my hookup. <laughs> And every time I would get something from him, I would tell the other DOC guards and they'd reward me with letting me be in the garden or something like that. But now, the regime, it's horrible. They don't let you... They, they wouldn't let me talk to my lawyer today. They held me in a back room uh, in a fenced area and wouldn't let me do anything. All because I hissed at someone because he wouldn't give me a phone. I want to get out of there. And, and when I get out of there, I promise that my moms are not gonna, 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 gonna use queef or, or, or anything like that anymore. And that I promise I'm gonna tits everything. And I refuse to cuck because I'm DTF. Yeah, I, never I just got offered a job program. by the gentleman in the green shirt saying that I could come join the prunes. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but you know what? It sounds promising. Good guy. And I think I think that I'm going to uh, utilize <clears throat> being a slut to get up and and peg my way into success <laughs> and not do this stuff mm -hmm. again. I know that's right. I don't know if I want to give anyone here context. I just. Admirable. Because I have it. I have all the context I need. <laughs> Admirable man. Do you have any questions? More Real contact. One now. What? Real what about one. Is, uh, buying phones in the in the prison? See, when I first got to prison, I made friends with a DOC. Her name was God, because I thought God was talking to me, but it was actually someone on the roof. <laughs> and we would hang out all the time, and I would give her information about which guards were corrupt. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. I had to do something, but then everyone stopped coming around. Bane got out, and and Jane's gone, and it's literally just me most of the time. There was a giant cookie in there that I tried to eat, but he ran too fast, and I couldn't keep oh, up. Jack. <laughs> Is there anything else? Uh, only if you want to ask questions. Yeah, you haven't seen Nate Shaw at all around in the prison, right? This whole time you've you haven't spoken to him, right? I don't know who that is. Great. No, good. That's great news. Good. Okay. Thank you. No, nothing. Oh, okay. Mm. A anything else? I believe that's all questions from us. Okay. Right. Th thank you. <clears throat> thank you. You're <laughs> Is there anyone else wishing to speak? This will be your time, Mr. Rickenbacker. Mel, if you want to, it's your uh, time. Please come forward. Go up there and suck. You go, Mama? That's fine. That's I'll, I'll just go fuck myself with her. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mama. Wait, 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 Come on. Wait, wait, wait. I, I want to hear from the defendant. I want to hear from the Nah, I'll go. I'll go last. Oh, okay. Mama, okay. go. Get up there. Get your ass up there. No, get your, your portly, your oversized ass up there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you. Shit. You're welcome. <laughs> can, can I talk Hi, then? Mama. Hello. 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 Hello
Oh well, yeah. I, I I've only met Mel over there like a few times, like maybe one time. I I gave him a ride. He was really nice about it. He wanted to pay me back, but I didn't want anything to pay. I didn't want anything. It was just it was charity, I guess. And you know what he did? He gave me. He 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 told me that I. I, I I could I could target anybody I want, and he would you know execute him. What the That's fuck? All. Oh, uh, thank you. I forgot to talk about the woman that we all killed with the microwave. Huh. Uh, oh, I've got that uh, plan. Don't worry. If you want. Yeah, you okay. yeah. Back to yeah, I, I got I got some notes on that. Oh, you got that? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Make sure you go up there and suck. Can we want to come up, Mr. Mel? Yeah. All right. Jesus Christ, you run like a child. <laughs> you did a nice job, Gary. Thank you. Hello? You're welcome. Uh, yes, it's on. Mike. Oh, we can hear you. Um, I, I, I'm Albert Rickenbacker. I've, uh, I've been in the city of Los Santos for roughly the past five years. Half a decade. My name is James I don't Randall. care. I don't care. I don't, I... Uh, not now, Mr. I've Randall. never cared. I won't ever care. Uh, no. Uh, don't care. Don't worry. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good of you all to give him something to do with his time. Because God knows he wouldn't be of use to anyone anywhere. Um, I've done a lot of horrible know. things in my time. I've I've done a lot of. Horrible, horrible things for very, very few good reasons. Uh, it's, a, it's a long list. I've, um, I, 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 I once, uh, helped a guy named, well, names aren't important. It's not a, not an indictment. I helped this guy kill this girl, and then her mother came to town looking for her. So we stole a taco truck and sold her to her mom. I think her mom died, too. Um... There was that Zack Rat kid. Uh, that's the one who I got the death penalty for. He called me old, so I shot him in the face. Uh, I, 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 killed a, I killed a man that you all know and many of you loved named Wesley Arnold via a, a, a vitriolic pistol whip to the side of the head uh, because a woman named Linda dared me to. However, uh... In in my testimony regarding that, I managed to turn all of Linda's allies against her, uh, which ultimately resulted in her untimely death. So, technically, if you look at it that way, Wesley Wesley Wesley's been avenged. Was, uh, microwave. Uh, really the napalm. Wesley's been avenged. The woman who started and caused all of this by sending me off the edge, she's dead as a doorknob. Doorknobs are real dead. I, 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 I paraded a crack addict around, dressed as a dead police officer. I charged people admission to poke the body. Uh, I dragged Gladys Berry through the mud, got her involved in all this Wesley Arnold bullshit. I, uh, I've kidnapped pr profound amounts of people. I've told people to stab police officers while screaming, this is politically motivated in an effort to get them charged with terrorism. I scammed noted multi-millionaire YouTuber Markiplier out of roughly $1,200. I've stolen countless people's shoes only to dump them on the side of the road or throw them at people. Uh, I told uh, an impressionable young man named Dick that, uh, quote, stabbing Joe Kane was a normal thing to do which resulted in Dick being shot by Frank Williams in defense of Joe. Uh, excuse me, this was Joe Kerr. Uh, he died. That, that man, Dick, died. Uh, I set a professional wrestler on fire at the apartments um, before that was as big of a deal as it is now. The apartments, not the setting someone on I fire. A lot of this. Uh, I've used my uh, seemingly uh, unending connections to survive the death penalty. Turns out all I had to do was ask the mayor nicely uh, to spare me. Uh, I stabbed Tessa Lamb the moment I got off parole for, for that aforementioned, uh, murder. Uh, I, I, I ground up Kevin Whippaloo's corpse like five minutes after he died into cheeseburgers and gave them out to all the people in the city for free so that everybody could have a part of that, uh, that dumbass in them. 
Uh, the point I'm making here is I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. And I, I, I've done a lot, you know? And I've answered for it. That prison, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if the cops are just uh, no longer capable of arresting people. Nobody goes to jail. I've been in borderline solitary for so long that I've lost track. And I've lost count. And I've lost a whole lot of who I was. And I'm not asking for your sympathy. And I'm not asking you for pity. I'm just telling you, I'm over it. I'm, t I'm tired. I'm done. And you know what? I'm getting too old for this shit. Thank you for your time. I just want to go home and watch TV or something. Brunging. Thank you. Uh, was there anyone else wishing to speak? Uh, I'm just so rich. Uh, Tannis, is there anything else? We're, we're confronting with our right, clients. Uh, fine, uh, fine. Uh, yeah, Mr. I, I, I would like Stop to it. say something. Hi, my, na my name is Osvaldo Doping Afria. Um, I've, I've met Mel uh, 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 twice. You know, he, he calls on my radio show a lot, and I, and I think he, he sounds really reformed. He wants to help me build fireworks <laughs> and, and, and well. showcase it around the city, so I think that's really good. Um. And 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 also, James Randall Hold killed on, five. Hold on, like a of... dragon firework. Yeah, like a dragon firework, like yeah. Gandalf. Yeah, oh, I sick. hate Lord of the Rings. Okay, sorry. Can... What? Stop well, it! Stop telling people that as well. So stop telling people. Lord, Lord of the Rings shit. is so Lord, don't overrated don't and boring. <gasps> it's so goddamn boring. Lord, keep it to yourself. Why do I care this. about four people running show. around for three movies? Anyways, as I was back back to the topic at hand. Um. James Randall killed five of my kids, and he look at them over there. He's a menace, and 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 we're we're gonna cry about the, this man killing two people. But, but my, the, it's only two. The <laughs> ratio is not there. The, the, the James should be locked up, not not Mel. That's all. Have a great day. Fuck Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Thank you. Stop saying that. I do agree with that. Nice job, Osvaldo. No! What's Lord of the Rings? You're really lucky that that statement is cancelled out by and TV movie and uh, has had there. several iterations. Oh. I was going to go ahead and cut the line here because I'm a judge. Oh, it's going to be quick anyway. Oh, hey, hold in. Hey. Hold in. Anyways, uh, just to make this relevant, um, yeah, 200 something years, I feel like Mr. Rickenbacker's probably served his time, but that's just one man's opinion. But what I'm really up here for is uh, I just want to know who who is that? Who's that guy? I'm a Maximilian Angel, a deputy mayor. Oh, okay. I just knew you weren't a judge, and you don't think you're. My a name is so. James Randall. Oh That's yeah, no, we. Uh, it was requested that no. we have a member from the mayor's office as well as park ranger here. So we have. I'm getting restless. Uh, that guy and uh, Tessa, and <laughs> Lamb. Oh, I had a. Anyone else wishing to speak? Uh, attorneys? And scene. Okay, no one else from the defense side then. No, defense is done, Mr. Um, so right. right. We can. Oh, uh, oh we'll Mr. Go Randall. Ahead and... yeah, we'll open that up. Hello! Hello! Uh, hello, Mr. Randall. Uh, you okay? Give him a minute. Okay. A second James Randall has struck the World Trade Center. <laughs> Why? I'm gone. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm all F4 and you can't stop me. That's it. I'm going to switch to Chuck Danger. That's it. I don't need to know the result. I just wanted to be there to drop that. I said I wouldn't do that again, but I lied. A second James Randall has struck the World Trade Center. <laughs> Here, you stupid old bastard! <laughs> what? Oh my god. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Randall. Oh, we'll now be opening up for the floor. Can I go? Can I go? I want to go. Oh. What's wrong with James? Oh god. I am oh, seeing stars. Ladies and gentlemen, people of this court, Mel Rickenbacker and I have gone back a long, 
long, long time. You see, it all started about three years ago. When I wasn't, uh, I was just, uh, right before I became a officer, I was uh, working at the taco shop in the south side. What nobody knew was that I was undercover the whole time. <laughs> gaining information about that taco shop. I found out a lot of information about that taco shop. And one day, while snooping around there, Mel Rickenbacker found me. You may ask yourself, Dan, what did Mel do? And I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Later that evening, Mel got me into his Lamborghini, which was a pretty fucking cool Lamborghini, if I may say so myself. But he took me to the quarry. Oh, Mel, your Lambo is probably gone. He looked me way. dead in the face. Huh? It's probably gone, Mel. We need to go. Dan failing. We need to go. It's got a badge on it, so it's gone. We need to go. He fucked up. Sorry, your Lambo's gone, Mel. We need to go. At that moment, he took out a police-issued shotgun. I'm sorry, it's, it's and gone. shot me. We need to go. Square in the chest. <laughs> it's it's shot. Oh, my God. That day, I cleaned to life. But you know what? He didn't leave me out there to die in the middle of the quarry, no. He put me into his vehicle, and while he drove me back to Dan MRPD... Going with this? This has nothing to do with this case. He made it sure <laughs> to know. That's what Dan's talking about, ever. He, he's not a real person. <laughs> I, I got an attempt to... That I would not forget that day. ...in interrogation, because I said it was Dan Philly to go, oh, okay, and the room... He took my lifeless body <clears throat> at the time, threw me on the front steps of MRPD, and left me there to die. In those three Sounds years, this individual like behind me, this be found. fucking psychopath, <laughs> has murdered, robbed, maimed people. He is not your average criminal in the city. He is not the chain gang or the GGs or the any of the other gangs. He's 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 his own breed. Wrong <laughs> gang. Thank you. Thank you. Mel Tom. fucking Rickenbacker. Is he <laughs> saying something? A menace to society. Oh man! I just realized that pretty much all the biggest murderers are in prison. At no point in our judicial system. I'm really system. happy you've been carrying that on. Should it be ever? Away. But we gotta okay. talk about this kill the children let somebody situation. Like this individual. <laughs> we'll this yeah, yeah, we'll talk about the kill the children thing later. Out on the streets <laughs> of society. <laughs> again. Randall started it. Out with the public. <laughs> a person who, kill the with no hesitation, will pull out a gun and just shoot somebody cold in the streets just because they call him old. Because hey! he is. Hey! Fuck. They don't like that word. Yeah, man, I, I just said you. that. <laughs> I implore you, your honors, is, is, <laughs> do not let this individual out. Lock him up. Throw away the key. We already have a James Randall on the street. We don't need a Mel Rickenbacker again. <laughs> Thank you, your honors. Right hell, Mel, asshole. Eat shit, pussy. Wow. Right. <laughs> Although, uh, he does have a point. He'll <laughs> be fired within a week. He's still wearing the vest. Apologies for approaching earlier. Um, I'm Dr. Lynn and Bundy. Most people know me as a potato doctor, so I apologize. Oh, hello, potato. That's weird. Uh, um, Good thing. I... I, I, I I barely know the defendant. I, I probably treated him. I've treated uh, Ranger Wesley. He was very kind to me. Uh, he was a good friend to my husband, and he's told me many stories about him. Kill I'm here to speak on behalf of somebody who, when violence occurs in this city, the victims of those violence end up in front of us, the doctors, the EMS where we piece back together their bodies. We hold their hand while they're in pain. And the people who attack these victims have no remorse whatsoever and continue to do the same thing over and over and over again. I'd heard the defendant say that he's tired. 
my fellow doctors, myself, and the EMS, we're tired too. And I understand that everybody deserves a second chance. Maybe not a third. Wesley deserves... He deserves justice. The people of the city deserve to feel safe. To not have to see me unless they want to see me at the hospital. We're just, we're tired. That's all. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to speak? It's uh, now open to the floor. Uh, good evening, your honors. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> I am Dr. Derek Shaw, PPMD. And I share a different view than my colleague, Dr. Bundy, which, to be fair, is quite acceptable. I have known Melba Rickenbacker for much time. I've seen the person he is on the inside. <laughs> Quite literally. He's come and stabbed several times. <laughs> and I've seen what he's made of. I can tell you one thing. We're all the same on the inside. <laughs> what makes it so wrong <laughs> to give a man like him another chance? Well, I'll tell you something. And I'll tell you this now. What happened was a tragedy. There's no denying it. But one thing should not define a person. Melbert has paid his debt to society. He has served his time. And I think we owe it to him to show that it was an exception, not the rule. To be fair, too, I'm pretty sure he's never once physically harmed another doctor. <laughs> I could be wrong. Uh, I said I could be wrong. <laughs> Has he harmed you, Dr. Bundy? I'm sorry. I'm in a little bit of shock right now, <laughs> Dr. Shaw. So. Has he harmed you, Dr. Bundy? <laughs> Has Melbert Rickenbacker laid a hand on you? No, sir. <laughs> Oh, I'm not, not going to say that Wesley would have lived if he were a doctor, oh. but <laughs> Holy shit, he Bane's here. would have. Oh my god. Oh, just saying. Could have treated his own wounds. <laughs> just saying. I don't even Oh shit. Oh my god. Uh, is he okay over there? Uh -huh. Unbelievable. Oh. Yo, good shit, dog. Good shit. He's good. He forgot to eat today. I think. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Hey, Bundy. Oh, oh wow. Excuse me. I have to go yell at my boss. I don't need to eat. Uh, was there anyone else I wishing to speak? Of my Wait, enemies. Is Doctor Shaw her boss? Yeah, or I suck on the no enemies. Yeah. I have no idea how the medical system works in this. Sorry, sir. It's so good. Oh, Holy and shit. shit. <laughs> well, I was ahead of all things, I'm man. Fucking idiot. Oh, is Please make sure you're all eating well. You only pistol with the guy and he done. Uh, Do you want me to hey, cause the distraction? Oh, I'm allowed to have it? different I'm opinions. That's yet. what makes this place so great. Uh, <laughs> Should we wait or? Get the chick away from I'm gonna yell at you. You know what I'm gonna do? They die quietly. We'll be fine. Careful. I don't give a okay, fuck. Call. Get away from me. Oh, I am nice to you, and I also said that you're right. Okay. It is your boss. We have differing opinions. That's what you're right about. Okay. It is your well, boss. I guess. It is your boss. Get <laughs> fucked, buddy. I'm nice. I've been waiting nice. to stay for years. <laughs> I just, I just got told to not give them food, so I just left. I'll talk louder. I know. Wesley, Wait, who is that? 12 is too dumb to eat. 12 is too dumb. I see dumb an angel's tattoo. Who is this? Yeah. True. Yeah, please go ahead. Are you not on date? I, I said I came over to give them some food, and the guy said, I don't care what you came to do. Get out of here. So I did. I'm, I'm still making fuck people shut the fuck up. Sorry. <laughs> Peanut gallery, hush. If I have to come back there, I'm going to be hitting people with my clipboard.
and contempt. <laughs> um, hi. So, okay, Quinn, first, thanks for the tears. When I knew three. Mel on the streets, right. he was an absolute lunatic. Yes. Um, <clears throat> he drives around in a golf cart. Uh, it's just like I'm actually surprised that he managed to kill someone. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I think as this is far as I can recall, you. wasn't there something in the John Doe case that said that's like if you die in the in the line of duty, it's kind of like you were doing your job, <laughs> and that's why they only got like five years. What the fuck? I don't think that how that <laughs> how that all. went. Okay. No, no. Okay. Do you understand? Murder is murder, right? That. <laughs> okay. okay. I love Fauna, dude. No, no, She's no. so what, good. What, yes, let her cook! Oh my god! Let her cook! I, I mean, I don't think you're subhuman. But anyway, um, as someone who also spent 200 years in jail and oh. has been a cute little perfect deer on the streets not <laughs> doing any violent crimes, yeah. um, it's a pretty good deterrent. Because, like... You don't want to go back there, Sounds especially if the ne you know the next time you go back there is probably going to be for life or some shit, or they you know they might execute you. Like you don't want that. And mm -hmm. like you know, I believe in Mel's ability to be right back. understand the consequences of his actions and not do the three time, as Lando said. Do not let that man leave. <laughs> no, who's the that we need the OC to accompany him, please. <laughs> I also personally think it's constitutional to hold someone in prison um, without the possibility of parole. Again. You in here? Also, uh, you going please see? I mean, I didn't want to say that. Get your stall down. He'll be here somewhere. Like, we'll check the other one. Years is a long time for someone like Mel. Like, even though he's. Ah! Uh, I got on the seat. Huh? Oh, okay. It, it's okay. Just use. He a, made me get on the seat. Just use a little bit of. Just use a little bit of toilet paper to wipe uh, it off. It'll I'm be okay, not Jerry. Guiding him through this. He's uh, he's just he's urinating. He's, he's oh, okay. going. He's going boom boom. Don't Damn worry. Department of Corruption can't even do your fucking job. <laughs> They're still searching for him. They still went into the other bathroom searching for him. They had. What the? Okay, is let him poop. Get back to the courtroom. I'm going pee. But, but if he's got a poop or something, pee in the courtroom. He's old. I'm not, I'm not gonna old. pee in the courtroom. Siobhan, can I stab people if they misgender me? No. <laughs> yeah. no. Okay. Probably should have carried that you with us before you them. actually walk yeah. out, Jerry. Yeah, a, a slap. Oh, I was just going to pee. Um, it's no. I know, but uh, the, they weren't. They were not appreciative of you walking out without permission. Are you That's okay. I'm just everybody. testing the reaction. <laughs> um, yes, I just, oh, wanted, God. I just, I just wanted to say that that I don't, I don't, I, I think, I think, I think he's learned his lesson from be, being there for a see now they all really, 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 really long time. And if he knows <laughs> that next time he goes back, it could be forever. Like that, that you know, that 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 that's a really good deterrent. Uh, primary source. Okay, bye. Bye, you. Thank you. Is there anyone else wishing to speak? <laughs> Please go ahead. Hello, my name is Dr. Pliskin. I I built the the uh, current medical center that we all use with my own fecal stone fecal fecal matter and kidney stones, and I built that hospital to save lives. However, there has been a astounding finding that I have found. Through using my grandson Trunks' time traveling device that his that v Rivita gave to him, his father, I have managed to go back in time and find out that life actually exists past life itself. Therefore, the officer of the deceased is still alive. He is within another creature in this realm, and he still lives today. He has had his retribution. He has found his space in life, and he is now living amongst another life. <laughs> he is here amongst us all today, and therefore, Mel should not be known as a murderer anymore. He should be known as a life giver. 
Mel gave this man a secondary life. This man may live again. He lives amongst us, all of us, in an organism, a single-celled organism, which will evolve throughout the years into another organism, which will announce and evolve yet again. Mel is not a killer. Mel is God. I gave Wesley a sp spirit and an orgasm? Mel spirited Wesley. And now Wesley lives inside of all of us. <laughs> Thank you, Mel. The hospital thanks you. I don't know how factual that is, but a thank you. Extremely factual. Thank you very much. Was there anyone else wishing <sighs> to speak? No one else? Yeah, yeah, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of not if over this. If he says this, a damn know, thing about Lord, Lord of the Rings, Rings I'm gonna... Fucking mm. sucks, you hear me? It, it sucks. And then they made the sequel, prequel trilogy, and that shit hey, sucked too. I, I, okay. Hey, Disney fuck sucks, you little shit. No, Disney's fucking good. Fuck you. Oh, Judy Hopps is thick. The fuck Hobbit you. is unfortunate. Uh, Shut funny. up, Rings. Huh? Shut, Shut up. Slander will be stricken from the record. Sir, put, put that did he old just say a character from Utopia <laughs> with I... Yes, oh, and he did say that. Uh, uh, listen, I'm taking him. Listen, hear me out. Hear me out. It was like a ring box burning at the stake. That guy is on top of the list. Bob, get the fuck out of my way. Agreed. You can do that. It's not too much. Throw him in a volcano. He's going to be the one to test out my DNA. Mom, are you going to go talk? Perfect. Can I be there for um, scientific oh, okay. recording purposes? Oh. Absolutely. Okay. Was there anything else not about Lord of the Rings or Zootopia? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want uh, to be nice to say? What? I have nice I things Lord to of the say. Rings. <clears throat> oh, I, I love Lord of the Rings. I Great think Osvaldo's an idiot. Yeah. Um, Boo. Anyway. See, this wait, is why wait. you're not mayor. Shut up. This anyway. This is why I voted for Lang Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> really to shut up. I'm not sure. No, he was Did talking to. Really good about he was talking to the old guy. Yeah, I was talking to the dumb dumb in the back, booing me. My bad. Look, yo, dog. Uh, my name be Asher Block, Little Men, Pingafria, Prune Gang. I got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Anyway, um, so you know, I murdered a bunch of people, and I've never been to jail for most of them. You know, so why should why should Mel have to be in jail anymore? You know. He, he served his time. I mean, he's obviously not going to die in there, so why not just let him out? You know, he's probably got a better chance at dying on the street than he would in jail, you know? Also, uh, Forty, uh, if, if y'all know Forty, she's she's like a house cat with a knife. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah she's, uh, she's, Mel's her number two, right? Oh, yeah. Only, only second to Mike Block, who is uh, pretty much I miss her. He's been in ICU for like Good a kid. month. She yeah, well, nice. if Forty doesn't have Mel, she only has Mike, um, <laughs> and that that is just terrible. You know, <laughs> you know, no no child should be raised without both parents. Uh, that, and that's uh, that's what I believe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is have so good. Since I <clears throat> a woman needed what? So many fucking one-liners from so many people. Still alive, oh man, you know I am oh, okay. gonna say something, even though even though I wasn't gonna say anything. I just want to say that everyone deserves a second chance. I agree with what others have said that Mel's paid his debt to society. He's been in jail and you know, only good things can come from this now, you know? It's not like, you know, us, you know, former uh, prisoners are going to band together and, you know, form a, a group you know, of chaos. It's just it not going to happen. Know. It's just not going to happen. Um, that's all I got to say. Free Mel. I was being intentional. I was distracted by Scott. What'd she say? I think she just suggested the do? Legion of Doom might form if Mel gets released. Oh, I got a few things to say. Oh, yeah. That's... Oh, fucking hell. <sighs> hey, it's, uh, it's me, Bob, the security guard. <gasps> Bob, the security guard. I'm a security guard. I don't know if you can tell. All right, great. All right, listen. As much as I love cops, and cops are great, and you should never kill cops or hurt cops. Cops are amazing. Cops can do nothing wrong. They are the most amazing. <laughs> this security guard guy is. We're corrupt as fuck. What do you mean? Okay, most. The most upstanding citizens of Los Angeles. Who is the most? 
Well, 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 I, I feel like we've had this conversation cops. like 17 times. Okay, well, yeah, judges are up there. Thank but, like, you. Cops, that's too. All. You can't. That's all. Right. That's all. Okay. Right. Okay. Great. Frodo, great. Frodo great. was up there. All right. And the mayor but I, listen, as much as cops are impenetrable and perfect in every single way, DOC is the complete opposite. They are scumbags. They are. It doesn't stand for Department of Correction, it stands for Department Excuse of you? Corruption. <laughs> The, the Department of Corruption through. is not Amen. here rehabilitating people, okay? Uh, their, their, their job is not to rehabilitate. Their job is to uh, supervise and terrorize the inmates within the walls there. No, no part of being inside a prison is going to rehabilitate either one of these individuals, okay? The only way for them to be rehabilitated into society is to become part of society. Now, whether how quickly or slowly huh. that is based on parole conditions, whatever the fuck. But the Department of Corruption should not be in charge of supervising these individuals. Thank you very much. <laughs> Fuck the DOC. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. 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 He is such a fucking role player. Fuck DOC. My God. Most of them. <clears throat> Hi. Hello. Oh, that's my Holy lawyer who never called back. Okay, do you look like you just got unburied? <laughs> I, uh, I'm concerned. Listen, we're not here to talk about me, your honors. Although I appreciate the Our concern. Lawyer. Uh, I wanted to talk about uh, Jerry for a second. I think, you know, there's been a lot of focus on Mel. Um, not my focus on Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. Um, I represented him Hi. Uh, in the trial initially. <laughs> And I, you know, I spent a decent amount of time with him. I've got to know him, I think, pretty well. Um, he's not a terrible person. Um, I think, you know, he's somewhat easily influenced. And uh, if put out on parole and some sort of enhanced parole program um, and paired up with a good influence, I think that Jerry will uh, come out into society and be a good person. And... Uh, I don't think he deserves to continue spending the rest of his life in jail. Um, like I said, find him good influence and uh, things are going to go well for him. So just wanted to make sure someone spoke on his behalf. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, no more. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Free Sebastian. The other guy too. Was there anyone else? Oh, she was. Deputy warden. Okay, so uh, my, my, my name's John. I'm the deputy warden up uh, at the prison. I just want to oh. clarify one thing from uh, what Jerry said. Uh, that watering can we supposedly wouldn't let him have uh, was a shiv that he was using to stab guards. So uh, he's, he's a bit of an idiot. Uh, that's all I got. He's lying. He, they that's took everything. That's probably not true. Department of Corruption. They boom. took everything. They Shut took the my can. Up. They took my pipe. They took everything. Excuse me, man. My, my plastic pipe, not not like a metal pipe. They took everything and wouldn't let me talk to a lawyer. That's actually a civil rights violation. For a civil case, but not really anything we can address at a uh, parole hearing. Well, they beat me before yeah. this, too. Yeah, again, again really great, great. Civil hunt. For a, we'll we'll civil talk case, about it after. Not really mm -hmm. okay. applicable yeah, no, she, she's so here right now. Jesus. She's coming in. You're going to make her sad. I don't care. What, well, if there's what? no one else wanting to speak. I just want to say something. If I was so bad, I wouldn't have told the OC where I was when I just walked out of prison twice. Once today <laughs> and once a couple weeks ago. Both times I turned my Three minutes of ads are about reported. to kick off. I played peekaboo with the DOC over there in a bush. He came running up looking for me and I'm like peekaboo. And then I ran right back with him to prison. He didn't even have to tase me or anything. These guys are full of lies, and they just want to destroy my life more. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, I got I got some clarifications to make on some of these statements. No, thank you. All right. So that first kid that I shot, he, he was holding some EMS hostage. I think it was Riv. He was holding him hostage with a hatchet, and I told him if you put the hatchet down, we'll give you little tokens to go gamble in the casino. And then when he put it down, I shot him in the head with an M14. 
Uh, wait, 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 hold on. He put it down like yeah, you told yeah, him to? Yeah, he put it down like I told him to, and then I neutralized the threat immediately. Yeah, by shooting him in the head, not like the kneecap or something to like disable him. God, no, this, is, this like isn't a the... goddamn Bruce Willis movie. I'm shooting to neutralize the threat. I'm not shooting to disable. Shooting uh, to disable is just as bad. Buddy, can I ask you something? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. You, Eugene told me that uh, since I've been in prison, James Randall apparently like joined Prune Gang and has changed the slogan to Prune Gang Kill the Children. You ever need like something to do if the cop stuff doesn't work out, you should call James or Eugene. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll give them a call. The other one was uh, was that Jimmy kid. He had just shot up the hospital and he was running away with his hands up like that was going to stop me. But it didn't. I shot him anyway because he refused to comply. So they both deserved it. Also, Lord of the Rings is the best high fantasy uh, film genre that's ever actually been produced. Peter Ooh. Jackson's a genius. Oh, overrated garbage. So Shut off. And, and as Valdo lost lost my vote uh, for the next time he runs, uh, I can't. I can't, I can't run anymore. It. Oh my god! It, they said it was unfilmable, and Peter Jackson. What about how you said you were going to talk wrong. for me, Mr. Bundy? That's Why don't you clarify that? Everything he said before the Lord of the Rings statement, that was beautiful. Listen, my favorite movie is Jaws 3. Wait, what? AKA Jaws oh, He's the next movie. Oh, that's a good one. Nothing that's good. There's like five said. Jaws. Yeah, there's like five. There's five of them? That's All right, so movies like aside, is there anything else? any scene in Lord of the Rings is better than Jaws 3. It's just fucking sharks. Hell yeah, get him, let him. Wait, it's about sharks fucking? No one else is anything non-movie related? Bane, if you want to get in there, now's your time. Uh, Mr. Bane? Oh, oh it's the guy who taught us to th overthrow the prison. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, they let me out, right? They did. That's my <laughs> villain. That's my villain. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let out. Hell yeah, let me wipe it out. Holy oh, shit. Huh. Oh my god. Oh, there was a mic drop. Not, to, not gonna lie. Close, close it out, Mac. If uh, there is no one else wanting to speak at the moment, no one else? No James Randalls? Uh, going once? Going twice? Just end it. <laughs> no more questions. Wow. No more testimonies. Okay. What a fucking finale. Well, we'll be going aside to talk now. Thank you. Oh, no worries. And we kill you. Okay. <laughs> Today we heard testimony from numerous individuals on both sides of the aisle. The parole board was able to hear stories from everyone ranging from the affected police officers to members of the Department of Corrections and the defendants themselves. Uh, as a judge, we have to examine the facts brought before us and weigh them against the laws, the amendments, and the Constitution of San Andreas that we're sworn to uphold. As a human being, however, we also have to weigh our morality and sense of right and wrong. Unfortunately, in the courtroom, there's really only room for one of those things. Um, but today, I want to stand before you and do both. As a person, I obviously have my own sense of morality, and I understand quite clearly what is right and just and what is wrong. Today, I heard more about the ongoing corruption within the prison from geriatrics than I did about the victim, Wesley Arnold. I heard more about how Jerry was beat up by correctional officers and denied an attorney more than I heard about how remorseful he was for his actions. <laughs> I heard from Mel Rickenbacker about how he wanted to sit home and watch TV from his couch, but nothing about how sorry he was for the pain he inflicted on Wesley Arnold's family, his friends, and his coworkers. As a judge... I heard nothing about the support structure from either the attorneys or the defendants themselves. Well, you ready? And as a member of the parole board, I want to hear these things. I want to hear plans for the future, plans about what they want to do next after being released from prison. However, I must also weigh this with the fact that both defendants have served over 230 years in prison. <laughs> this is several life sentences, and I have to be a judge and look at it from a different perspective and realize that I cannot hold somebody in prison indefinitely just because... They did not react how I wanted them to react when it came to a sentence that lengthy. Had the two defendants only been in prison for 50 years, then I would have no problem sending them back for several more years while they appealed uh, once more, but this time with feeling. 233 years in prison uh, is a long time, and the courts have no legal grounds to keep them in prison longer than this. 
Uh, there were mention of riots and attacks in prisons and statements that the defendants will kill someone upon release. But unfortunately, no evidence was presented and no facts were entered in on the docket or when pretrial motions were being reviewed. Um, so with the above in mind, the parole board will be granting the defendant's request for parole with the following rule oh set my God. Each defendant is to be fined $1 million. Uh, this is because at the time of sentencing, they were sentenced to life without the possibility, or sorry, life with the possibility of parole, but they were not fined. And this is after specifically um, checking with Justice Grace and himself on that fact. So $1 million. Um, you will spend the next 50 years in the parole program where you will abide by the following rules. You must check in every time you're awake with a member of PD via 311. Um, during the 50 years in parole, you must meet with a state licensed psychiatrist and have them sign off that you are fit to reenter society. Um, while in parole, you are to have a job and be gainfully employed. Officers oh. can and will check in on your place of work to make sure you're there. Now, this can be any officer or if a specific officer wants to volunteer, they're more than welcome to. I'm not going to force anybody to do that. Um, you must also write a apology letter. This must be a sincere, real apology to the Rangers. I don't want this half-assed, you know, I want to sit on my couch. I'm sorry that Wesley died. No, this is to be a real, sincere letter. You are not to deliver this yourselves. We were to give this to your attorneys so they can hand it off to a member of the Ranger Department. While in parole, you are not to commit any misdemeanors or felonies. If you do, you will go back to prison and serve the remaining time of your parole in prison. You must also do one act of community service and contribute something back to the community that you robbed. This can be anything that you choose with the exception of the scout program or anything related to working with animals. While in parole, you are not to uh, partake in any drugs or alcohol, and officers will be permitted to perform random toxicology screenings. Um, at the end of this, you must comply, or sorry, while well, during this, you must comply with officers and engage in good faith when requested. This does not mean that you are subject to random searches of yourself or your property without probable cause already being established. So if an officer asks you, you know, to do something, you are to listen to them, you're not to run away, okay? Okay. This is going to be the ruling of this court, but before I hit the gavel and end this and open this up for questioning, I do want to give each member of the board a chance to say something if they so choose. You guys have anything you want to add? So if we run, do we have really to pay the fines? No. What's the name of the guy he's I, I, don't know. Jerry, I think he'd be pretty yeah, funny. Yeah, they'll, they'll bill you for the fine. <laughs> well, how am I supposed to buy food or anything? The DOC took all my cash. His name is Arnold. Arnold they'll bill, the, your, they'll the, bill your bank account. If it comes yeah, but what's the point of even being out and having a job? Um, well, how am I going to eat? You pay for and food. You can, you can pay for things in cash. I don't have it. The DOC took it all. I don't want just a random officer to come through decide that they have failed and the, the dlc out. took all my cash i can't afford anything <laughs> is that clear they want me out on the street to serve it's clear yes your honor we'll uh, your, okay. your honor i have one question on that condition I'm if not you don't opening mind this up for questions yet. yes yes ma'am okay do you guys have anything that you want to say okay uh i'll just say that this was not an easy decision this was not a light decision uh, and I just want to remind both parolees that uh, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what has been granted to you can be taken away. Mm -hmm. Should you break the conditions that have been laid forth before you, uh, you're not well, going to be, we're, we're not really the ones who actually decide. I, I mean, it will come to us to say uh, if you broke <laughs> your conditions or not, but you're the one who's going to have made those choices. So it's going to be on you. I will add on, though, that when it comes to the apology letter, I will have the Rangers forward it to the parole board so we can see it as well. And if it's it, half ass, we will fucking, you will hear. You if will you hear. write some fuck shit in there, we're going to see it, okay? I just want to make that abundantly clear. I don't want to see if there's any, I'm sorry you feel that way. No call <laughs> apologies, I swear to God. Those are the worst. 
At this time, uh, we can open it up to only the prosecution and the defense attorneys for questions if you have any. Um, but at this time, um, that is our verdict. I'll go ahead and post the conditions on the docket uh, as well as hand it off to members of PD and the defense attorneys. I'm gonna go for a walk. So you have that. No, 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 he is still to be fined. Huh? Just, just Stick around. Minute. You haven't paid mm. your fine yet. It's almost, it's almost you bail me! Uh, your Stay Honor, I, I presume a member I've been of the will be uh, <laughs> issuing the bill. Yeah. What about Jerry? Yeah. Oh, gotta go that one. I told them I had a hey, job after lined this, up. No, I've got good news. They lied. I think this guy I can't prepare it. Burn gang is not a job. Did you? I wrote the letter yeah. for you. Uh, oh, cool. Take care of the fine while I... Perfect. You don't deserve this, man. You're innocent. Uh, I assume when it well, comes to the, the infractions, it's, it's not no, a, no, it's not an arrest and then confirmed okay, by a judge. It's it was a, a while conviction, ago. so the uh, no, police have an option to fight it in court. I'm not, I did, I did, I did. No, if they get arrested, yeah, but you got no ball, so you're innocent. Judge, and the judge decides that their that's parole is broken. Ball. I'm not waiting. And the person who no ball is doing is dead. To get through. So, yeah, exactly. So technically, the so it like comes all around. It Thank you. Exactly. Around. Oh Jesus I'm Christ! Gonna, I'm gonna I'm text you that. Don't worry. Floor shaking. It's perfect. You all right, baby? I don't even know. How can I give you the letter over text messages, probably? Yeah, that's fine. I got a phone. We got my phone. I got a phone. Hey, how's it going? Round no three. misdemeanors for 50 what is years. <laughs> what did he say? What the hell did he just oh. say? Oh my Garrett, God, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna an apology for you. Oh no, he's gonna email. <laughs> there's that. I wonder what the hell Bane is. Bane could do it for yeah. 60 years. Thank you so much for participating again in society as a functioning member of society. Okay. I have no issue with that. Yeah. The kind DOC with the green hair, is she around? Took my phone. Need to relax. Yeah, this is not gonna yeah, with me? me but... Yeah. I'm quite Here, calm. You can, my, you can have my phone. It's fine. I have another Thank one. You. Thank you. Thank you. Green hair. What, what, you yeah, what the, the hell? <laughs> what? You're just kind of, you, you look, what do you mean? Did you just hear the way you said what? It sounded like your blood pressure showed up like fucking 30 yeah, points. Yeah, you know how much right. ketamine I do a day in prison and now y'all are going to be drug testing me? <laughs> I'm going to be a little on edge. I, 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 we're just all going to have to accept that. <laughs> ketamine is like heroin I for once and I was, I was really fucked up. I was, I was very I don't know if I want this. So. Kind of means like heroin, but for teenage girls from Pennsylvania. So, oh, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. The K -hole. Yeah. Thank you. I don't need to be reminded yeah. of uh, that EDC. Anyway. <laughs> Looks like you got yourself your phone. Yeah, I'm just. I want to see. I just. I'm remember. I'm wondering who like the last people to contact me were. Oh. Yeah, Judge Fun. All right, don't fuck this up now. All right, hi. Yes, come forward. The uh, I texted, you I texted you you Eugene. Just, just have... Hey, on, fucko, yeah. it finally oh, happened. No, they I gave have, me life. Uh, Kill the uh, cop, lol. Um, anyway, I'm supposed to be contacting a judge right now, um, but I figured you'd like this pic. XO, XO, kisses. Okay, um, would yeah. you be able to work with Ranger Bunny to make sure that the 30K that the officers are owned for that gets deposited to the Ranger? Condom Cadet Bunny. I don't have that. Uh, if you go in through like backwards. Oh really? Yeah. Thank you. That was kind of funny. Thank you, Your Honor. See? You're a genius. My God, is that the secret? You're saying. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. is, does Tessa need a driving instructor? No, no, no. Just leave. Leave. For love of God, now, okay. for, your, for your own advice, just please leave Tessa alone. Okay. For your own advice, okay? Okay, okay. Okay. Swear to God, Mel. <laughs> Swear to God. Yeah, you're looking to see if we could do an expungement for Abdul, myself? like former Mayor Abdul. <laughs> oh, I like Abdul. Yeah. Uh, Judge Weston, would you be able to hear? What, you, you do. Like, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. The, the sorry. Stuff? I think I did his first expungement, actually. We are, we are Can I go? We just need to, we just need to hear it. Uh, yeah, have you, you didn't right. build yet? You have... We did it, Abdul. Congratulations, you need that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, uh, if, my, if, my car, if my car was taken from me because it had a badge, how do I go get a new one? Um, actually, it was better yesterday. 
yesterday. Um, you go speak to the, you know, the, the, the you'll find a guy outside of PDM. Okay. Not the PDM at Otto's Otto's. Old the PDM? classic PDM. Okay. All right. Old one. Yes. Okay. Go talk to that guy and you'll know what to do. All right. Thanks, Abdul. Yeah, you're No fine. problem, Habibi. All right. Don't worry, Mel. You're gonna listen. You're gonna read this letter, and you're gonna be blown very away excited. by the amazing letter I'm you very just excited. wrote. Do you have my phone number? I'm gonna. I wrote it. I don't worry. I wrote it on a notepad. Okay, perfect. perfect. She's reading it right now. She's making sure there's any errors or anything. She's making sure it's perfect. Perfect. It's gonna be exactly what you need to get out of this scot free. Are you using artificial intelligence? What? <laughs> no. What are you talking about? I would never do that. Well, I'd have more faith in that than your intelligence. Excuse me? <laughs> Once she's done reading it, and let me tell you, Hooked on Phonics is her friend, so it might be a little bit. This is I'm gonna... great. Thank you. I wrote it. Totally. There you go, Mel. Thank you. It's approved by me. The feminine touch. Oh, wow. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> This is, know, you are, this is perfect. This is perfect. You're gonna pass it over to the Rangers, Absolutely. and they're gonna they're gonna be blown away that Mel Rickenbacker <laughs> wrote all this. I think he has to give it to his attorney to give to the Rangers. They're gonna be shocked. They're gonna be like, "Wow, does Mel really mean this?" <laughs> Thank to you. say, Your Thank Honor, you, while you were deliberating, I was already writing my letter, prepared to go ahead and take full responsibility for Thank my you. actions. Thank they're you. gonna be blown away. Thank you both. Thank both of you. Thank you both. You're so welcome. You're Thank very you. welcome. We Thank you. She didn't do anything. She just read it. That, what did she get? What? I did for? all of it. Thank I you. I wrote it. Garrett's intelligence could not I write that. I okay, hold on. I, I, I figured I'd just praise him. Probably make him yeah. feel good. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. guys, I wrote that. Yeah. Right, Garrett, right. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go tell my brother. And I'm a good person. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look forward to all of them Hey, right. uh, guards. And I want to I wanna make it up. I'll miss you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't, don't, don't generalize me with them. No, no, no. No, Don't worry about it. Look, Take care, everybody. Good luck on the outside, Mel. I'm going to need it. This could have been your fucking mayor. You hear me? Where's eh. the mayor? Exactly. <laughs> this could have been your fucking mayor. Ride, Mel? Hey, can I get a ride? Yeah. Can you take me to old PDM, like old old PDM? Old old PDM? Yeah. No, the 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 one uh by the ammunition. Just like the regular PDM? Uh, I don't know what it's called nowadays. Oh yeah, you've been gone for a long time, yeah. huh? Well, nothing's changed really. Do you have any food? You hungry? Whoa. I'm hey good. guys. <laughs> hey, hello. Hey, guys. hey. Listen, um, in the back seat, we got here a 200-year veteran of Los Santos. Hey, Morgan hi. Buck how's it going? Yeah. Look at that. Everyone say hi. Hey, how's it going? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Listen, much. Listen, if thank anyone you. needs so some good, you know, help around the town, this guy, yeah. give him your number. You thank know, you. he's thank single, you. ready to mingle. Well, very no. married. Green. Married. Oh, my God. Autumn. Yeah. Way too loud. Way hey. too many screaming. Yeah. Sorry. Thank it you. just my ears started bleeding, yeah, and next thing you know, you know, Mel's first time. You know, this is mostly been around women in 200 years, Autumn. Yeah. So it's hard. Yeah. It's been, it's been Hi. Hi. Oh, oh God. Calling. She's back on the phone. I love hey, you. Jerry, congrats. Well, uh, I'm sorry, my boyfriend. How am I gonna afford like a sandwich or anything? Yeah. I, I don't understand. Oh, Gary, I'll yeah, help you. Gary, I'll He's help not my boyfriend. I'm not dating that old man. <laughs> okay, what, 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 what do we do now? I'll take a Gary, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, he just got out. Okay, are you Let's going go. to bed? Where, where yeah, going I'm on? about to. Hey, thanks for the ride, y'all. No I'll see you Enjoy soon. Enjoy your new rip. Right, I might go <laughs> kill a cop. Get in, lady. What'd you say, Jerry? I might go kill a cop. Hey, Jerry, hey, follow your heart, man. Yeah, follow your that, heart. that was one of the lessons, I know. Well, follow your heart. Do whatever the fuck you want. Follow your heart. I, I love you, Mel. I love you too, Jerry. Thank You're a good you. kid. Uh, thank you. Yeah. I'll talk to you You're later. Well. Yeah, thank you. You know? Thank Bye. you. Take care, Jerry. 
That kid's, that kid's gonna be dead by dawn. Sports first class of sedans, compacts, BBC imports. So this is tuner cars. Muscle, super, and motorcycle job vehicles. You offer rally, commercial vans, utility, UT. Clicking on a car gives it to you. It's a huge warning. Thank you. Um. I don't even really need to think about this. Shelly, how's it going? Hey, did you want to work at Burger Shot? Do you need other employment? <laughs> yeah, fuck it. <laughs> right. You drove off. Huh? <laughs> I said come back to Burger Shot. Yeah, all right. I'm all on right, my bye. way. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody told me being a released felon would be this easy. Hey, Shelly, how you doing? Hey. <coughs> Howdy, old timer. Hey, how's lieutenant. it going? I have a kidney stone. Can you help me? Uh, Just piece that uh, shit out, you fucking pussy. Yeah, it's what do you, a, what do you, it's what do you have big, in mind? It's big. I don't know. You're old. You clearly have had some in your lifetime, right? Yeah, yeah. No, what's your state ID? Uh, uh, don't call him old. Uh, shut the fuck up, Richard. Oh, it's Hit fine. My van. It's fine. Uh, I, I don't think I could possibly be mad right now with that thing sitting over there. Uh, 1093. Hello? Mm -hmm. Alright, I just put you back on as a burger flipper right now. We don't have the gargoyle bowl anymore. We, we cleared out everything, so. That's fine. Nothing wrong with flipping burgers. Yeah, we, we simplified everything. <laughs> Check mark off of the list of shit you gotta do for a roll. Yeah, I don't remember much of it at all. I just know that I got a I got that now. Yeah, no misdemeanors is kind of fucked. Like you can't do anything. Oh no! They said no misdemeanors. They said no misdemeanors. That's that's really fucked. Hmm. Interesting. Like, you can't even... I don't know. That... That'll be fun. That's, li the, like, everything. You could litter and break your... You could, you know, drop a, a wrapper on the ground and they could say, Hey, hmm. you're going back to jail for 60 years. Hmm. Yeah. Shall I? This place sucks. No one's ever working here no more. Yeah, no one really eats food anymore. Interesting. Oh, speaking of which, now that I work here, I'm called Jerry. Uh, you want uppies? So no, 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 no. Fifty dollars. No, 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 no. Fifty dollars. So. No. Come on, come on, Joey. Come on. Mm. Joey knows how to have a good time. Oh. <sighs> you, you need to oh. back. Yeah, I need that back. <laughs> Ow. All right. Well, thank you for the opportunity, Shelly. Sorry for everything I've ever oh. done to you. Thanks for taking a oh, chance boy. on this old yeah, piece of shit. Past is the past, yeah. Past is the past. Yeah, well, oh. It is what it is. This ain't gonna be good. Hey, at the end of the day, 
Here's to the At the future. end of the day, the Lambo's back. Hell yeah.